The George Zimmerman trial. He is charged in the shooting death of Trayvon Martin. Opening statements about to start today after a bombshell ruling in the defendant's favor this weekend. ABC's Matt Gutman has the latest. Joins us from Sanford, Florida this morning. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Robin. And lawyers today are expected to take most of the day to make that crucial pitch to jurors. Nobody disputes that George Zimmerman shot and killed Trayvon Martin. The question today is, is it second degree murder or is it self-defense? This morning, opening statements 16 months in the making. The jury of six women will first hear the prosecution, accusing Zimmerman of killing 17-year-old Trayvon Martin with, quote, a depraved mind. To prove second degree murder, prosecutors must prove that Zimmerman was filled with ill will, hatred, or spite. The defense fighting to prove Zimmerman, seen in this police reenactment from last year, acted no in self defense. And he said, You got a problem now. And then he was here and he punched me in the face. And already over the weekend, Judge Deborah Nelson making a pivotal ruling. So on this 911 tape. He's yelling help? Yes. Yeah. All right, what is your opinion on Preventing the prosecution from using two expert witnesses who say that voice you hear is Martin pleading for his life. Without having those experts identify whose voice it was on the 911 tape, the prosecution now has a hard time proving that Zimmerman followed someone, was the aggressor, and gunned him down without just cause. Experts hired by Zimmerman say it's his voice calling for help 14 times in 40 seconds. All of it heaping more pressure on that six-person jury, five of them mothers, ranging in age from their 20s to their 60s. All of them will now be sequestered away from their families and from news coverage. And they'll be barraged with as many as 200 witnesses, including neighbors who saw the scuffle that night and the last person to allegedly speak with Martin, the unnamed friend known only as witness number eight. He said the man found him again he behind him. I say, run. She says she was on the phone with Martin in the seconds before he died. Martin's mother told us she'll be here throughout the trial. I'm committed that I have to be there for Trayvon. Now, on the other side of the courtroom from Trayvon, Martin's mother will be an entire row of Zimmerman family, his parents, likely his siblings, and his friends. And in the 16 months since that shooting, we know that the families have not exchanged a single word. Robin. Matt, have you gotten a sense already what the strategy will be for, for both sides? They've been outlining this for quite some time. The defense is going to try to show that Trayvon Martin in some way instigated a fight that led George Zimmerman to shooting him, saying that he had no alternative. He felt like he had to save his life. The prosecution is going to say that he knew what he was doing. George Zimmerman went out there. He had a gun chambered, a bullet chambered in his gun. He was ready to shoot. He instigated this fight. He did not follow the orders of the police dispatcher and continued to follow Martin anyway. They're going to say that it was Zimmerman's fault throughout.